All right, so what we have here, um, this is the, the final property we're looking at today. This is what we call a triplex. That means there's three units in this building. This property is located in the W6, um, the South Etobicoke area, um, known as um, most likely the um, Lakeshore, or some parts of it is also called Mimico, which is not too far away. Uh, this is a great area to be in, great area to invest in. I think it's on the price right now for the value you get in. Um, for, for instance, if you look just down to your, your left hand side there, that's the lake. That's the walking distance from the lake. So you literally can walk out to your apartment if you're renting here and um, be at the lake. You can hang out to the lake. In the winter time, you can be down in the lake. Uh, in the summertime, you can hang out. It's always windy and cool down here. Cool, it's cooler down here than most parts of the city. Uh, because this area is underdeveloped or even underpriced, in 2011, they had about a 20% increase in property value one of the highest increase around the GTA. And the 20% might seem big, but it's not big because they are being financially or, or value suppressed for a very long time. Um, this is a triplex we're looking at. There's three units in this property. I think there's three two bedroom property in this unit here. Um, nice property, but again, the triplex, I came right across the GTA right now as we're speaking, I think it's overpriced. Uh, you're paying about 200 plus thousand dollars more for a triplex. Where if you compare it to a back split, um, you're getting the same rent, rental income from a back split as a triplex. And the only difference is, and we probably see from the side of the house, you have three rental, no, three hydrometers. If it's not the side house, probably the back of the house. We probably take a, let's take a walk at the back. You probably see three hydrometers at the back of this unit. Not all of them is already done, some of them are. If it's not at the side of the house, it might be inside the house. And that's the only major difference between a five level back split and a triplex. This triplex, as you know, is probably shared driveway because you have a property next door. So it's not outside. So I'm thinking it's probably inside of the house. You have a fire escape thing here, fire escape stairs, which I think is really, really good. And this property is in the market for 619,000, 619,000. So when I put this into my cash flow analyzer, um, I haven't done it yet, but I absolutely guarantee you it's going to fail my cash flow process. And that's because we only buy property if it's making positive cash flow. And if it's not, we kind of stay away. Let's head inside and see what's going on. And um, hopefully when we finish up, we can take it onto the lake and get you to see why the W6 is so important. You can actually see on a clear day the CN Tower from the W6. You can see the Sky Dome from the W6, and the list goes on. Let's get inside now. We're going to the, the accessory apartment. That's the basement apartment. The be accessory apartment. Okay, so here we're here. We're coming into the, the utility room. And um, here's a, the three hydrometers that I'm talking about. Three different, or here we have four hydrometers. So the one, one meter per unit. And the, the other meter is for the, the landlord or the main unit. The uh, your landlord, or the, um, the, the, yes, the landlord. Okay, it's called the house meter. So the utility room, we have um, uh, the hot water tanks here, and we have two, uh, we have a washer and a dryer here. Now, the situation here, this washer and dryer is free. You can actually wash for free, which is something that I would never do as a landlord. If you wash, you pay. So this is actually revenue the landlord is actually giving away. Uh, maybe you have a system where you build it into the rent. I don't know what that is yet, but right now, there's no, hide, there's no coin laundry here, so this is actually money you're giving away. So again, if we come there as an investor, we need to maximize our cash flow. Right off the bat, we need to stick two coin meters in here to start collecting money. It's easy, but $100, $150 a month in cash you're actually giving away here. All right, let's continue. All right, so this is um, $950 a month. This is a two bedroom apartment. Um, as you can see, it's $950 a month. It's a two-bedroom apartment, as you can see, is pretty clean, but very small. And you might ask yourself, why would someone pay $950 a month for this? And that's because it's literally two seconds from the lake. So you're paying for um, close access to the lake. You're also paying for access to downtown Toronto. And this is about five to 10 minutes away from downtown Toronto. You can get a go station. You can get a streetcar. You can get a subway. Take you downtown Toronto. So $950 a month you're paying for here. 
And um, even though it might seem a lot, it's not a lot. When you look at the price of the property, you will not make any positive cash flow. And that's the only reason why we buy real estate is to make money. We're not buying it for tax break. All right, so we're gonna see you out of the lake in two minutes. We just saw the, the, the triplex is going for $619,000. And what I think is, is overpriced because what you're paying for is marketing value. Um, this area, which is a W6, has been suppressed for a long time financially and of a value of properties because people never want to come down to the lakeshore. And they thought lakeshore was too far. And what they didn't realize is that lakeshore is actually 10 minutes from downtown Toronto. You actually get the streetcar. 10 minutes after you're in downtown Toronto, you get a GO station, GO train, the same thing. You get a TTC, 20 minutes downtown Toronto. So, what, and it's also two minutes from the lake when you get the south side of Lakeshore. But the market finally started catching on to the W6. In 2011, they had a 20% increase in value just in W6 alone, which is ridiculously crazy. So, but that number doesn't get me excited because I know it's now catching up to the rest of Toronto. It's not actually going ahead of Toronto, okay? Because for the value it offers here, it should be actually more than that. It's actually on the value, in my opinion, but from a cash flow perspective, it's, it costs you way too much money. The other thing that's driving the W6 is, and you guys can check it out online, or, or if, you, I can, if uh, from the students, you guys can, I, I can send you the PDF, if I didn't send it to some of you already, it's a program called Mimico 2020. Is a government create a program to put a lot of money in this area here. The local community with developers and investors and the government create a program called Mimico 2020 and it's going to be completed in 2020. And that's a lot of money getting involved in this local area, the W6. So it's actually a catch-22 because if you buy in this area, you probably won't make good cash flow if you buy right now. But the futuristic of value developing or increasing, that's the biggest benefit. I'm not that kind of investor. You might be. Because <laughs> to me, every time I buy a property, I want to see cash flow. The cash flow tells me that there's no marketing attached to my property. It's true value. When a property is true value, you get good cash flow. Uh, for instance, another place like Bayview and Lawrence, doesn't matter what you pay and how much you put down, you get zero cash flow. Why? It's all marketed value. Everybody wants to be there, so it tends to put a lot of money there. So you can choose. You see a lot of properties today. I think these guys talked about one of the properties we saw today. They're already getting calls from the, the seller who's offering to drop the price right off the bat if you want to put in an offer. What that tells me, they're desperate. See, if the property is listed for $430,000 and they want four twenty, four fifteen, they're calling me, I'm giving them more like three eighty-five, dollars 375 Are you desperate? So whatever I give, you better take. Otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next deal. Sounds good? Now, the other benefit here, right down the W6, which is along the Lakeshore area, they have so many parks. Um, from the Mary Curtis Park, and when it's not a park, there's, there's little access to the lake, like the one we're standing on right now. On a clear day, you can see the CN Tower, very clear. You can see the CN Tower, uh, most of those, those, we call the top five banks, head office, that we flew over yesterday in the helicopter ride, that some of you guys can see later on. They are right there, from right here, you can see it. Very clear, on a clear day. Today is a clear day. Okay, there's not too many um, smog outs. So you can see everything here. You can come and sit and hang out to the lake. Again, this part of, of, the, of Toronto is not oversaturated, overpopulated. So when you come out, it's just you and yourself, you and your spouse, you and your kids. Whereas if you go to 10 minutes that way, downtown Toronto, everybody's there. So this gives you the same access to the waterfront without the crowd. And that's what people pay for when they come into this area. So you're paying for good value. Family lifestyle is good. Um, the other thing that this area I've not seen yet is a lot of younger middle class people. So you have an extreme population. You have a lot of older seniors, a lot of old money here, and a lot of extreme low income people. So what this area is lacking right now is a middle class income. The people in the, in the early, late 20s to mid 40s, that's the money he's looking for. Um, Right, right onto you, probably the, the, the far left, the early far left, which is about Park Lawn, you see a lot of condominiums being built in there right now. And they start off, like I said, 12 years ago, they start building condominiums there. And that's bringing in the, the late 20s, mid 40s uh, age group. And within seconds or within a few months, the appreciation just went crazy because that's a mass market. And that's what this area is lacking. 
Now, as we continue going all along the lakeshore to the Etobicoke, Mississauga borderline, you can see condos coming up all the way. Every single three, four lights you see condominiums coming up. And once that starts happening in the mass market, a single family house here could easily be um, a million, 1.5 million in the next 15, 20, 30 years to come. So if you're gonna invest, you're only looking for appreciation here. Cash flow is gonna kill you. You might even end up with a negative cash flow. And if you're willing to, 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 take to, uh, to invest and wait, you can't go wrong. 10 minutes to downtown Toronto. And a lot of the CEOs who don't want to pay a million, a million five for a condo downtown Toronto, they're going to pay $500,000 for it right here. And they're 10 minutes away from work without the, 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 the crowd, a lot of people. All right? Now, a lot of you guys see a lot of properties today. What do you think of some of the real estate you saw today? I'm excited. Uh, I am in the process of uh, buying my first home in Canada. Um, I don't know what, what to do. I will pass home, buy first home or go for investment. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I have to go home and think what to do. Okay, so you, you, you're not sure where you go to first one investment property. Let me ask you, which one's going to make you money? Uh, actually, uh, of course, if I'm going to invest, uh, uh, other than buying first home, I think I make money. <laughs> you make money in investment property because you know it's always cheaper to rent, right? Yeah. So it's, it's not a big deal renting and then have somebody as uh, pay for your investment property. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, having uh, my own property is the best thing. Uh, I, I have been rent, uh, renting for more than three years. Uh, it's like uh, putting money on the lake, right? <laughs> uh, at, at, that's why I'm thinking to uh, invest and buy first home or invest. I am in the two mine. I will decide very soon. <laughs> the other option you have, you can buy what we call a hybrid project where you live upstairs and rent the other parts of the building. That's what you consider, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I'm considering because uh, the factors right now I, I have, I have to buy uh, two level. I mean, uh, one for myself and uh, one for uh, my for tenant. Yeah, I'm the, that's what I'm thinking right now. Okay, excellent. Sounds good. Thank you. So what's going on? What do you think with the properties we saw today? It was very exciting. Uh, it really opens uh, my eyes to what's out there. That you can go from uh, from very low income uh, price homes from the hundred thousand range all the way up to the million dollar range. It all comes down to location. But I can actually see uh, all the future potential of all these uh, properties. Excellent. Are you going to put an offer on any ones you saw today? Actually, I'm thinking about it. I'm actually going to be talking with Justin uh, later about maybe doing a joint a joint venture on uh, maybe one or two of them. Okay. Excellent. All right. Thank you. So, Justin, what's going on? <laughs> everything, Frank. Everything. So, no, um, no. We saw a lot of good properties today, and uh, it looks very, very promising. It's, uh, it's the GTA. Everything's exploding. So, there's so many different options. You just really got to focus in on where you want to be and how much money you really want to make because there's a lot of opportunity out there. A lot of opportunity. Excellent. So, real estate all the way. What's going on, bro? Yes, sir. You see a lot of properties today. What are you thinking? Yeah. I I really liked a lot of properties that we saw today. Um, my personal favorite was the uh, the five level back split. Mm -hmm. So I think because uh, of cash flow, right? So yeah. I want to be able to see the cash flow. And I think personally that's the one that I would go for. Mm -hmm. And probably also living in one of the units and getting, you know, the other cash flow from the other property. So yeah, back split definitely. I'm gonna go so you're for looking that. at a hybrid project, you live in one, yes. rent the other two units. Yes. You probably, do you know that if you have a three unit property, and you live in one and rent two. Do you know you can live there rent free? That's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually have other people paying for your lifestyle or paying for your uh, monthly living. Yeah. So what you normally pay in rent or mortgage, you can actually take that money, pay down your bills, pay out of debts, or even buy a second or third property. And come on the lake and have fun. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right, who's next? What's going on? <laughs> you see a lot of properties today? What's going on? What are you thinking? I think it's a fabulous opportunity. I think there's a lot of uh, you know potential and a lot of the op properties that we saw. Mm -hmm. And I think you know once we make sure that we understand what the cash value is going to be, our cash back, based on closing and things like that, I think there's a lot of opportunity that can happen. So excellent. So you're ready to invest in Toronto market? Absolutely, absolutely. You made me a believer. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. We see properties today from $100,000 up to the highest one we saw was $619,000, and we continue to buy. Resource more investment property. So what's going on, Regan? Next thing, this is Regan. You saw a lot of properties today.
Uh, yeah. Right across the GTA. Uh, what do you think? You're gonna buy? You're gonna um, invest? You're gonna do more research? What are you thinking after what you've seen today? After what I've seen today, I definitely see there's a, a huge opportunity uh, for investors in Toronto. I mean, uh, there's so much value in the homes that I saw today. Um, if I'm ready personally, well, I'm I'm on the move, so uh, we'll see. I'm gonna do some more research and, and look and as you say, crunch the numbers and cash flow them. Because the key for me is just making money. That, that's that's my goal. And and um, But the properties were, were you know, there were some good ones, there were some middle ones, there were some that, that were on the lower level. Um, but at the same time, you could always convert those and, and, and make it best for you. So I see the value. So you, you've, you've seen properties right across the GTA. You've been looking at investment property for a while. And what do you, you cash flow properties, you see if make money or some don't make money. What do you say to people that says, well, Toronto property is too overpriced or Toronto real estate can't make money? What do you say to those folks? Um, I'd say uh, get educated because uh, I was telling some of the, my fellow investors, you know, before I came to Remick, I didn't, I didn't really know how much value there was in Toronto. And then through your program, I saw the value of that we're sitting on a gold mine right now. And I think that's, I'll just tell them, get educated. Don't just, you know, think off the top of your head. Find out for yourself. Absolutely. So educate yourself. Before you start buying real estate, as you said, right across the board, we have another young man here, potential investor. I know he's going hard and strong on real estate. What is, how are you doing, Stephen? Excellent. So we saw a lot of properties there right across the GTA from $100,000 up to $619,000. What do you think? Are you buying? you selling? you looking? you researching? What are you doing now? Uh, definitely a lot of research uh, needs to be done, but uh, considering what I saw, there's definitely a lot of different opportunities available, you know, something for everyone, you know. Um, you know, you just you just gotta crunch the numbers. You know, make sure it makes sense before you you know you move ahead. Absolutely, it's all about cash flow. Make sure you're making money. If the property is not making money, don't buy. If it is, you continue to buy more and more real estate. Let's talk. Let's find some of the ladies. The ladies they keep hiding from me. All right, let me disturb this lady here. This beautiful young lady. How you doing? Good. Excellent. Good. So, how was your your, your tour today? You saw real estate from $100,000 up to $619,000. Are you buying, you investing, you're researching? What are you doing now? Researching and investing, eventually investing. Okay. Now, do you see the opportunity where you can actually buy real estate or own real estate and make money? Definitely. Okay. Definitely see it. <laughs> Someone's proud of one, 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 two or five or ten? Ten plus. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Let's find some more ladies. These ladies are hiding from me. And... Um, some of them are running. We're going to grab them by the, the horn or the corn and get them over here talking about real estate. All right. How are you doing? Good. Excellent. And your name is? Claire. Claire. Let me sit next to you. Can I sit next to you? Sure. Good. All right. So you saw real estate all across the GTA from as cheap as $100,000 up to about $619,000 plus. What do you think? What do I think? Um, I think there's a lot out there and I think um, I need to get into the market. So are you going to start investing right away? Are you doing more research or are you just ready to go immediately? I'll probably do a little bit more research and um, get into it in the next uh, little while. Do you see the opportunity for you to leverage the growth of our city, leverage the growth of our country and make yourself a lot of money for the, for, for the future? Definitely, yes. Good. Someone's probably one on one, two or 20? 20. 20 plus. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Claire. Thank you. All right. Who we have here now? Yeah, we you got a lady there? Lovely lady, just a million lady over here. <laughs> How are we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> I got you on Frankie's camera. <laughs> all right. So we got both of you. So listen, you saw a lot of real estate all across the GTA from $100,000 plus. What are you thinking? You're buying, researching, investing? Well, I'm going to do some research first. This was the, the first part of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I'm going to do some buying. Buying. Okay. Do you see the opportunity for you to buy real estate, make money, and create generational wealth for yourself and your kids? Absolutely. So much property you're going to start buying? <laughs> I don't know. It depends on my joint venture partner. <laughs> okay. Oh, joint venture partner. So we guys can do is partner up and do a deal together, one or two deals together, and depends on how it goes to do a second and third deal. That's right. Exactly. Okay. That's how it yeah, works. That's our, that's our plan. That's okay. It. Excellent. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, what else? Well, we have another young little long lady here. Last but not least, Heather, how are you doing? Good. Excellent. Can I sit next to you? Sure. Uh, excellent. Now, we've been all across the GTA today, mm -hmm. 
looking at properties from the W5 to the W6, and you see real estate from as cheap as $100,000 to $600,000 plus. Thousand dollars. What are you thinking? I'm thinking something like, uh, uh, the, I really like those um, five uh, split, the split level ones. I really like those ones, so I think that would be a good investment. So the five level back splits. What do you like with the five level back splits? Um, well, it's you can get a lot worth um, a lot of money for that. So it's better. The cash flow is going to be a lot better, I think, than the other ones. Yeah. That's right. So again, uh, you, we, we're investing here from a, a financial perspective, and when we invest from a financial perspective, it's all about the money. And she says, if it doesn't make cash flow, we don't do the deal. We saw a bunch of five level back splits. And we saw uh, a triplex, and the situation with the triplex right now is overvalued right across the city. So I'm not saying don't buy triplex. All I'm saying that right now the five level backs will give you a better um, bang for your buck. And if you're looking for cash flow, the back split is the way to go. So how much properties you want to buy? One, two, three, five, twenty? About forty-two. Forty-two. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well, because I feel once you start, you know, once you you get to that comfort level um, and you do the first one and then the second one, it comes becomes um, natural. So That's right. It becomes easier. Once you close your first and second deal, you become confident, you become more comfortable with real estate. Then you can move on to buying more and more. You can buy one property every six months, one per year, one every five years. Even if you buy one property every five years, it still puts you way ahead of the average family to create a generation of wealth. More important, if you just buy one investment property, second to your personal home, you're way ahead of the masses. And that alone puts a lot of money into your pocket. You create a generation of wealth for your kids, 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 kids. Join our program, attend our seminars, start investing in real estate to your success. We help you take your portfolio to the ultimate level. Go on the nextsteptosuccess.ca and register. Again, that's next step number two, success. .ca. And we take your portfolio to the ultimate level to your success. See you then.